Ooh, I tell you, it's early. Um, so we're here at the uh, fantastic location of S.E. Davies in uh, Ast Astwood Bank near Redditch. Um, for uh, we're just here to, to watch actually. Um, I was asked whether I fancy bringing uh, Tilly along, but um, they're going out on a 10 mile road ride and um, I thought that was a little bit ambitious. Um, I would have done it if I got a bit of help, but uh, never quite got that organized and uh, Luke was busy and so yeah, yeah, we've just come along to watch, but it's uh, it's going to be an interesting day and there's an awful lot here.
Magnificent. So um, we're now at the uh, Wheelbarrow Castle, just a couple of miles down from the last stop of the boot in. Um, this is where the uh, today's um, road run finishes. I know that people are having a, having a meal. We're actually going home and uh, going back for the World Cup final, so we can watch that at home. But um, oh, you know, it's a lovely little run. Uh, not too long. Actually. I'm, I'm I'm really regretting that I didn't bring Tilly because. Uh, 
when they said it was going to be a 10 mile road run I thought 10 miles in one go that's a uh, that's a bit of a bit of a stretch for Tilly really you know just for a for a day out but um well of course there have been a couple of stops on the way and it would have been very very easy on Tilly she'd have been fine so yeah shame I didn't bring her but there we go we're uh, while we're here we're going to speak to uh, a few other people that are here and see what we can uh, what we can find out about their engines so uh, yeah look out for that oh yeah this is um jessica so Je what's your, let's start with sorry your name. start with your mind now my name's darren big Daz, as everybody knows me right. okay um i've had a steamroller this particular steamroller for about 30 odd years now um she's a 1923 15 ton fowler compound steamroller now compound means she's got two cylinders not one she's a convertible engine which i'll show you what we mean by convertible the headstock is actually bolted on, not riveted on. Yeah. So it means it can be unbolted and the set of wheels can be put on the front, turn it into a traction engine, right. not yeah. just yeah. a roller. Okay. And with so, a compound engine, you can uh, that's it. Can go a bit. That's right. Goes quite well. Today we've done um, approximately six to eight mile an hour standard on the road, which we're quite happy with. Yeah. Uh, she's had a new boiler, new tube plate, uh, a foot in the barrel, welded on. And before I had her, these forks actually got snapped in half and this is one complete piece of steel that was heated up and bent by a company called Angle Ring in Birmingham. Now looking at that, that is a serious piece of <laughs> bending. That is, that is. And it's, um, it's nice to see a, a roller with a scarifier on it still. Yes, most yeah. Most take them off, don't yeah. they? Yeah, it's a John Allen um, scarifier and I have a John Allen living van that goes with it. Um, it's very much a working engine, so I'll keep her clean, but I also keep her oiled. And wherever I go, I go on the road. I don't have a low loader, so everything we do, we do on right. the road. Yeah, yeah, and of course the rubber helps, doesn't it? Yes, we've had an inch of rubber put on all set all the wheels, and it, it makes a lot of difference for me, the driver, on my feet, but for the engine as well. It takes a lot of the um, vibration away. Yeah, yeah. What's the wear like on that rubber? Then? Fantastic, really, how, how, really, how really well. Been I've had that, it's been on there nearly 10 years now, right, yeah. and it's, it's not changed. And that was, that was um, vulcanised on, though, was it? Yes, yeah, yeah vulcanised yeah. on, and in a company up in uh, Batley, up in New Yorkshire. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah, lovely. <laughs> Uh, Chris Perkins. Chris Perkins, as, as it says on the side there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, how long have you had the engine? Uh, since about 2018, 2019. Right. right. Uh, and is it um, you built yourself? No, I didn't build it myself. Right. It was built in 2012. Uh, it's obviously a nine inch scale uh, Foden C type steam lorry. Yeah. Uh, it's compound, 240 psi boiler pressure. Oh, so she'll really go? Yeah, it goes well. It goes on very three well. Speed. Yeah, it's three speed, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, where was the original, was it a kit that came from, is it? In all fairness, I'm not completely sure on the, on the, on the actual build of the engine. Right. Um, I bought it off um, somebody that, so I'm actually a third owner of it. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, I know it was one or two built by the, uh, it, the, the, or the, the builder built one, it was one of two that were built by that owner. Right, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the cracking thing about these photos. They do actually go, don't they? Yeah, it goes well, yeah. yeah. My yeah. Uh, my wife's very, very keen on us having a Foden, largely because she's terrified of the fact that on our traction engine, no brake, whereas, of course, you've got a, a decent working brake in there, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, it's a decent working brake, yeah. There's a foot brake um, and there's a working handbrake, obviously. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not the emergency stop. You wouldn't, it, wouldn't be put, it wouldn't be locking the rear wheels, but yeah. you, you've got something there that will sort of That'll help you to... Just scrub some of your speed off. That's right, yeah. 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 
where you're going, mate. for a Big Mac. Okay. 